what's your game plan when you play here? <laughs> okay. Uh, well, it's funny because it usually changes after uh, the, the first two or three holes. It it goes from like, yeah, just keep the ball in the fairway, use the fairway finder. But you know, that plane usually just gets thrown out the window by the third hole when I start like bogey, triple, double, maybe I'll throw a par in there and then, and then it just, and it just goes to, you know, let's just, let's just have fun. Let's have fun with the boys. A lot of golfers, they'll try and peak their games for the Masters and the US Open and the British Open. I try and peak my game for the media day because it's not too often I get to play a PJ Tour course and also play it when it's in conditions that are going to be pretty close to what they'll be in for the actual tournament. This year we started on 15, the par 5. Found the green but a little bit short, probably had about 25 to the pin. If you hit it too far, you know it's going to roll off the green. And what happens? Yeah, I four putted. A, a pretty jarring start, but that's Pete Dye for you. What's your favorite hole out here? Actually, I feel like it's the same when I'm playing and when I'm covering the event. I would say number 12, because you got the view right there, and then it's kind of that, like, you know, takes you down. You get the view of the bridge, and then it takes you down there to the water, and just a fun set of holes. And then that's kind of when you're covering it where the matches really heat up. But yeah, you make that turn, and then you got the drivable par four. That one's always fun. I can't really say 13 because I always hit my ball in the water there. Somehow the water's on the left, I always hit my ball right, but it always finds the water left. It makes no sense. Favorite hole is number nine, par four, you have a blind tee shot, but if you hit it perfectly and you're able to catch the hill, you're gonna have a really good look into the green. But of course, if you you miss that down slope, like I did, I went four iron off the tee, ball below your feet, you're hitting to a green that's drastically farther down than where you are, and you have OB to the left and short of it. But it's fun to watch for the pros because it's not a straightforward tee shot for the pros either. There's a handful of guys that will miss it way left or they'll be on that upslope and the guy they're playing against will have caught that downslope. That's what makes Austin Country Club such a great match play course is that, well, for one, it rewards the good shots and it punishes the bad shots. But also, you know, if you're in the fairway, it does favor you, but it rewards shot making too and creativity. And that's what makes such a fun match play golf course 